Yeah, while we were here before, unfortunately we heard a really shocking story. Um, we heard a little story about um, two boys that were living here in these two mud huts. Um, the boys were initially, the mother died or disappeared, nobody really knows what happened. They just woke up one morning and the mother wasn't there. They were wandering the streets and Russell asked them, where's your mother? And they said, oh, our mother's gone and they'd been living off eating tree bark for three months. One of them ended up in hospital for two months. And then Russell took them into his orphanage, but unfortunately the orphanage was full. So he put them out here in this mud hut with one of the grannies who was very kindly offered to look after them. And unfortunately from there, nothing to do with the granny, but despite the best efforts, unfortunately, um, without her knowing, another member of the community started physically and uh, sexually abusing the two boys. Um, we got to find out about this and intervened. Uh, the been removed now that person from the village completely and never be allowed back um, and then we got involved with what happened within the mud hut so what I'll do is just take you down the mud hut and just show you what has happened since so obviously uh, there was no door no, no, no security so here we've got a typical mud hut um, this actually had no door so it had absolutely no security whatsoever and inside here there was actually no windows, so there was no light. And as you can see down here, we've got what's used to cook on. And unfortunately, one of the boys has asthma, which obviously doesn't help his asthma. And over here, we've got a little kitchen unit that we bought about 18 months ago for them, just to store the things in because they were just loose on the floor in the mud among the insects. There was rotten food on the floor. Now we have a cool box that things are kept in for them. Um, we've got storage containers and they actually have a kerosene cooker now and you have paraffin lights. We managed to get them two beds and a settee. And life's looking a little bit better now for the boys. And the, the positive thing to say from this now is that now they're in the care of Russell, the two boys have been able to get some sort of normality back into their life now. Russell's reported really positive results for them. So. We think this is a really, really big success story for Lions Rock.